Hello all. Welcome to the e-office training module by Chennai GST. In this video, we shall see about email diarization diarization The purpose of email diarization is to directly diary from our email itself. So, we first click on our profile and go to the home button. On clicking the home button, this page appears. Here, we click on the Nick mail icon. Once the Nick mail icon is clicked, it takes us to our email. As we see, here a list of the email that we have received appears. Now, we click on any email and open that mail. Now we see that it is a sample doc and the subject is sample doc and it says that attached advisory for Perusel. So advisory SI03-2020 has been used as an attachment here. Now on the right side corner we see a button called move to e-file. On clicking this button it says are you sure move to e-file. Ok. Once the OK button is clicked, this page appears. It says, file has been moved successfully. If you want to diarize this mail, please click here to be redirected to e-file application. Now we click on this hyperlink here. Automatically, it takes us to our e-office page. Now, in the email diarization tab, once we click it, we see that the email has been automatically diarized. Sample doc sent by send date and sender email. Now if we want to delete this, we can click on this into button. Now I open this. It shows two objects. One is the mail body as a PDF and other is the attachment. Suppose I want the attachment alone to be diarized. I click here and click on this right side arrow. It goes into the other box saying select attachments to merge. Now I press on the diary button. Now we see that the attachment provisioning of remote access to CBIC field officers this advisory has been uploaded and the diary details can be filled. We see that the subject that was present in the email sample doc has been automatically filled. Now, just as any other receipt, this can be diarized. And there are seven key parameters which have to be filled. The delivery mode, the correspondence type, ministry, ministry of finance, department, department of revenue, name and designation, either the name or the designation can be filled. Now here this is from the ADG, so we can fill ADG, address Delhi and email can be filled if acknowledgement has to be given. The main category and subcategory needs to be filled. This is a circular or an advisory, we can say circular and instructions. And now we click on the generate button. Hence, the email has been diarized. A receipt number is generated 2139. This PDF button can be clicked to download the receipt as a PDF. The designation of the sender is ADG and other details have been captured here. So, this is a shortcut for not scanning documents. One can email the documents to the NIC or GOV email ID from where it can be diarized. Now, Next we shall see about the pullback option. In our inbox folder, we see there is something called as the hierarchical view. Here it says my receipts. So the inbox folder pertains only to my receipts. Now I can also see those in my section. So the superintendent, his ICs can also be seen by me if I choose in the hierarchical view his name. So all of these ICs are now available with the superintendent. If I want, if the superintendent is on leave for a particular day and if I want this receipt to be sent to another officer, then I can use the pull up option. 
The pull up option can be used by clicking on this particular receipt and then say pull up. The remarks will have to be entered here. Pull up since the officer is on leave. After this, when we press the OK button, we see that the receipt is no longer available in the superintendent's dashboard. We go to the inbox to see that the receipt has now arrived at my inbox. So the guidance note on EMD has been received in my inbox. So this way, the pull up option can be used. Wherein, in the hierarchical view, we choose the section or the concerned person from whom we need to pull up. After which, on clicking the button, we can select the pull up option. Next, in this closed, it appears that there are three options. Closed receipts by me, closed receipts by others and closed by others all. Now, once I click on the closed button, it shows me an IC that I've already closed. So, here we have the option to reopen. The closing remarks were, action has already been taken. Now, in order to reopen, we will again have to enter the remarks. Action is needed on priority. Now, once we click on the reopen option, again, the receipt appears in my inbox. Now, once I click on the closed receipt, which is now available at the inbox, I can see that the receipt is opening and on clicking on close history, I will be able to see that the IC was closed and then again restored along with the restoration remark. Hence, through this video, we saw about email diarization rization, pull-up option and closed receipt option. In case of any queries or doubts, please mail me at vandana.raj at gov.in. Thank you.